Thank you. So thank you. Uh, it's, it's an honor to, to be uh, with, uh, with all of you today. Um, so 21 years ago, an undergraduate student at Princeton University in New Jersey had an idea. And this idea was, was something quite different than anything that had come before. One day, all children will attain an excellent education. And this young woman believed in this idea. She believed that the youth of America could take charge and lead the way to achieve this idea. One day, all children in America will attain an excellent education. But there was something more important that she believed in. She believed that this was an idea worth spreading. Wendy Kopp believed that one day all children will attain an excellent education. Was an idea worth spreading? Why? Because only then could it lead to the start of something fantastic. And Wendy Kopp was right. Today, Teach for America, her idea in the form of Teach for America has spread throughout the country. Thousands and thousands of people across the nation's schools, districts, government offices, colleges, universities, they believe in this idea. It's everywhere, but it didn't stop there. In 2007, her idea took flight, and it began making its way overseas. Teach First in the UK, Teach for Malaysia, Teach for Pakistan, this idea began spreading everywhere across the world. Estonia, Peru, China, even India. In India, her idea took shelter in the heart and mind of a young woman in Mumbai. Shaheen Mistri, too, believed that one day all children in India will attain an excellent education. She, too, believed that the youth of our country could be the change. She, too, believed that, that this is possible. But again, she believed that this was an idea worth spreading. This year, Teach for India received over 7,000 applications to its fellowship. 7,000 people, 7,000 young people from across the country who want to spend two years teaching low-income schools, teaching children in the pursuit of equity in education. And among those infected by this, this idea, this bug, was, was a young man studying physics and mathematics at, at McGill University in Montreal, Canada. And as soon as this young man learned of this idea, he was hooked. He knew this is what he wanted to do. And a week after graduation, this young man, myself, I was on a flight back to Pune, inspired by this idea. And this is where I landed. Loknete Yashwantrao Chavan Vidyani Ketan 6 in Yarvada, Pune, a municipal school. And in the, my first year, I taught third grade. In my second year, my co-teacher and I, we, we, are, we are responsible for 112 children in the fourth grade. And, and here is just a quick glimpse of, of some of our kids. This is them uh, on the football ground. Both the classes are, are combined. And, and this is my class here. And, and don't miss uh, little Kunal. They're just tearing his hair to shreds. But these are our children. And, and they're a wonderful group of children, absolutely adorable. But something was different, because when I came here, most people did not believe in this idea of an excellent education. Most people did not believe that all children in this school, let alone the country, could achieve an excellent education. They believed in mediocrity. They believed in violence. They, they believed in, in just getting by in the status quo. But we believe in our children. We believe that our children can work hard towards their goals. We believe they can be honest and independent. We believe they can be respectful. We believe that learning, that education can be fun. And a few of us at Teach for India, we, we believed in something else, and, and very passionately. We believed in sports. We believed in the power of sports to unite, to bring a smile to faces, the power of sports to, to liberate, to educate. We believed in the power of sports to be more than just a game while being just that. And so we had these two ideas. We had children, a vision of an excellent education, and we had sports, our passion for sports. And we combined the two ideas. And their marriage gave birth to a third, just for kicks. Just for kicks is the idea that children in all schools, even the poorest, most under-resourced schools,
can play a sport. They can play a team sport. They, can be, they have access and exposure to sports. They can learn through sports. And not just any sport. We believe that football, the world's beautiful game, can make the lives of children and the experience of education a little more beautiful. Just for kicks, just for kicks is the idea that children in, in all these schools, they can learn about discipline, they can learn about teamwork, they can learn about hard work, they can learn about sportsmanship, sportsmanship about taking winning and losing in your stride. We, we believe that children in these schools, just for kicks believes that children in these schools can lead a healthy lifestyle. Just for Kicks believes that children can, can learn to play football well. We believe that, that they can pursue this talent to, to a degree of excellence. And so we had this, this idea, Just for Kicks. And, and we designed a football plan. We took the basic skills, dribbling, uh, passing, shooting, trapping, and we made a plan, a unit plan, a curriculum with assessments. We were going to track these children, and we implemented it in a few schools. And the result was magical. The children absolutely loved it. They loved training, they loved practicing, they loved playing in a team, they loved competing, they loved collaborating. And, and very soon, you know, the main reason why these children came to school was to play football. And it even worked as a great behavior investment strategy because now this is something that they really cared about, that they really wanted to do, and you take it away from them and it really hits them. So just for kicks. And, and then something really interesting happened. This idea, spread among the children, and then the children decided to spread this idea themselves. They looked around and they saw that their friends in nearby municipal schools didn't play football, they didn't play a sport, and so what they did is they took football and they went to these other schools and they ran workshops for these children. So our children, you know, eight, nine, ten years old, in the second, third, fourth grade, they went to these other schools and for one hour they ran workshops completely independent. And, and Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring any of our children here today. Uh, so there's, there's a short video that, that basically will allow you to, to meet them. And uh, this video basically talks about how our children felt uh, the, a passion for football, how they imagined children in these other schools playing football. And then they went out and actually did these workshops. So this, we call this Play to Coach. Sports is something that's very important to me and uh, I've learned a lot through sports and so I wanted to, to give that to them, the, the same passion that I share, I wanted to share with my children. And then they give us to practice, we'll do too much practice. If you work hard, you, you, can, do, you can get better, you can get fit. We become stronger and healthy, and we get fitness from that, and energy also. My name is Chaitrali, I am the manager of football team. These are my coaches, Yogindra, Deepak, Harsh, Rohit. I want to teach football because all the children in Pune school, they also know how to play football, and they are with us.
Thank you. Thank you. So currently, uh, Just for Kicks is, in, is running in 15 schools in, in Pune. Uh, so we have children in all these schools playing and learning through football. And, and the ultimate goal is, is basically playing the first ever, the inaugural Just for Kicks tournament, which is to be held in the first week of April. So they're all preparing for that. And so we thought this was great. But then something happened that, that completely changed the way we, we looked at Just for Kicks. So this is a, a picture, basically, of a, a collage of all uh, the league matches that are happening right now. But going over to that one incident, so this is Sayaji. And Sayaji is a student in the second grade uh, at Mato Shri English Medium School in Yarvada. And uh, he plays for the, the Mems Gunners. And his team, uh, they were scheduled to play early one Sunday morning. And so Vikas Plakot, uh, the first year Teach for India fellow who's uh, their class teacher, he got to the school gate early, uh, so it was locked. And he found little Sayaji waiting there for him, all alone. There was no one else. It was really early in the morning. And so he asked Sayaji, why are you so early? And, and Sayaji replies, Bhaiya, I, I want to play football. Fair enough. So, but then there was a lot of shouting from behind. And, and so Vikas turns around, and the rest of his team came running in, frantic. And they gave Vikas the news. Sayaji's father had, had passed away just a few hours earlier due to a liver failure. Stan Vikas turned to Sayaji and, and asked him, is that true? Yes, bhaiya, my father died. Then why are you here? Bhaiya, I want to play football. We had no reply to that. Sayaji played two matches that morning, and he scored in both of them. At first, this incident made no sense to us. We couldn't, we couldn't comprehend. We, we couldn't fathom how a boy who had just lost his father was out there wanting to play football and playing well. But then we thought, maybe this is more than just about football. Maybe just for kicks means more to these children than we imagine. Maybe football is an outlet, an escape for these children from their lives. And, and maybe it's really important to them. And then we asked ourselves the question, the fundamental question, can just for kicks be truly fantastic? And let's take a second to imagine fantastic. Imagine an India where children in municipal schools across the country are playing football and learning through football, learning about discipline, learning about teamwork through football, through a sport. They're having fun while learning. Imagine an India where children in municipal schools and low-income schools are leading a healthy lifestyle. They're learning about a healthy diet. Azim Premji has said that the government school system in India represents the dreams and aspirations of India in a way that no other school system can. Imagine an India where children aspire to be football players, where they aspire to play for club and for country. This is what we imagine every day. This is, this is what we believe in. This is why we've just partnered with the Pune Municipal Corporation. We've just received permission to take Just for Kicks, make it even bigger next year, to expand, to have more schools playing. This is why we're partnering with Pune FC and other academies in Pune to host trainings and workshops for our children. This is why we're going to launch Just for Kicks, a Teach for India summer training institute, 
where 450 new fellows are coming in. 450 new fellows from across the country who could potentially take this idea and spread it. Spread it to five cities across India, affecting 20,000 children. Imagine that. Thank you. And this, is, this is what we imagine every day. And, and this is why I'm here today, because I believe in this idea. I, I believe in, in Just for Kicks, but more importantly, I believe that this is an idea worth spreading. I believe that this could be, if we work hard enough and if we're honest enough, this could be the start of something fantastic. An India where children one day will grow up to be young men and women of character. One goal at a time. Just for kicks. Thank you.